I love to show the applique process, and that's what I'm going to do uh, right now, is I'm going to show you how to put together a couple of our pre-cuts. And so um, the first one actually is the little elephant. Now, when you get one of our pre-cuts, you're going to see there are a lot of pieces. And one of the things that we try to do is we try to provide them, like if all the pieces that are maybe cut out of the same fabric will be all together like this. And that is intentional because we learned early on that we had less loss of pieces when we put these together. Uh, but once you get the laser pre-cut, first of all, they're gonna be fused with a fusible bonding. We use heat and bond light. So every piece that we put into our laser machine is bonded with a heat and bond light. So it's meant to be stitched. Um, if 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 you're not going to stitch it, um, then I wouldn't recommend like washing it or, or using it a lot because it it's, doesn't have a heavy um, adhesive. So anyway, once you get all your pieces, um, and I'll turn the, the back over, you can see there's like a white paper on there. You're going to take that, that backing paper off of your fusible. And so basically all you have to do is just like bend a corner. Okay, and I recommend that you take this backing paper off before you clip all your pieces apart. Reason being, it's just so much easier to pull this off when all of these pieces are together. So I'm gonna pull this all apart. Just be kind of careful as you do it. Set that aside. Now, you're gonna wanna clip these pieces apart. I use just a little, little sewing scissors to do that. We put these pieces together with what we call a tick mark. And that tick mark just keeps them from flying all over the place. Now, um, one of the things you're going to see is uh, it's maybe going to be a little hard to tell where these pieces, what they're supposed to be for. Um, but that's why you're going to want to have your color photo next to you when you assemble this. So I'm going to get these all taken apart. Now, as I was getting ready for this, um, to do this today, um, I was trying to find all my little eye pieces and I realized that I had thrown away my little blue piece that had my little center eye pieces in it. And so I, I highly, highly recommend that um, before you get rid of your scraps, leave them in a pile and leave them close by because um, I think a lot of pieces probably get thrown away because they don't realize that they're still in that fabric. So keep those scraps until you've got that applique completely put away. One of my favorite tools um, in my studio is my silicone mat. And I'm gonna show you the process of how I put these appliques together on this silicone mat. It will make your life so much easier and you're gonna wanna do more fusible applique. So I have my, uh, my silicone mat. And with the Our Greatest Gift appliques, we show a little kind of a pieced it looks like it's a pieced block behind the critter, behind the animal. It's actually applique, and I'm gonna show you how we do that and how we create that look. You can either do it with or without those pieces. They'll be included in, the, uh, in one of the appliques. And so right now, I'm gonna show you this little elephant. Now, the elephant is actually a little larger than this block, and so your instructions will tell you where you can cut that off, or some people like to have a few of the pieces kind of hang over the edges of your borders. So that's uh, that's up to you as far as how creative you want to get with that. So I've got my, my fusing mat here. Um, this is actually a picture of the, um, the layout of the blocks. Now I know that just shows black and white. And um, what you're really, what you're going to get is you're going to get a color photo um, in in the um, pattern as well. So this shows the color photo. So you're going to know kind of where those pieces are going to go. So I'm just going to set this up here. And actually what we're going to do first, and I, I think what we're going to do with these is we're going to number them for you so that you know which one goes down first. I just know because I've done this pattern, I know that this little... Uh, navy blue block goes down first. Now, what I like to do is I 
I, you don't need steam for this right now. I just use a dry iron. I just tack it with the tip of my iron. The reason that I do that, it, it just makes it stick. The cool thing about these silicone mats too is your pieces will stick before you even iron them down just because of the fusible when it meets up with that silicone. But I tack it with the tip of my iron. The reason I do that and not iron it all down is if I wanna move a piece, I don't have to un uh, unstick it from the whole mat. I just have one little spot. So we start with that and then we're going to just build this block as we go. You're going to see, you're going to see the lines underneath this mat and it's just like putting together a puzzle. It is so easy. Now we won't see the pieces on the inside here, but we'll, you know, underneath the navy block, but we'll see them like this on the outside. And I'm just gonna tack that. And you're gonna see how quickly this block comes together and we have done absolutely no piecing. Now that we have everything uh, put together, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my iron over this. Now, because this is um, an applique block and not a pieced block, when you peel this off, um, some of your pieces are gonna stay there because they're not overlapped, but it's gonna be really easy to put it together. And I'll show you how you do that in just a minute once we get everything ironed together. So basically what I'm doing is I'm ironing together these center blocks. And I am going to uh, set this aside because we're gonna use it after bit here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put together this adorable little elephant. So we've got the elephant here. Now on our black and white drawing, you're gonna see some dashed lines and those dashed lines indicate an overlap. And so when you're putting pieces down, you know that, ooh, there's an overlap right, or a dashed line right there. So that piece goes underneath. So let's start putting this little guy together. One thing that I like to recommend is to um, put together some of your inner pieces before you put together the, the, the entire critter. Uh, the reason you wanna do that is because if you put your, your main piece down first, you're not gonna see where any of the other pieces go. Whereas if I put together some of these inner pieces first and then peel them off, they're really easy to, um, to insert. Um, I like to have the color photo close by so that I can kind of see for reference um, because when you're looking at some of these pieces, you're gonna go, I'm not sure what this is. You can look at this color photo for reference and that's gonna help you out. So I'm gonna set this over here. So we have our little toenails here and I am going to put these little toenails down before I put the pads of their feet. If, if you put a piece down and it doesn't fit perfectly with the drawing underneath, then it's not the right piece. Um, these are laser cut precision to go exactly with these drawings. And so as I'm going, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in here. Remember to look at your little overlap and I'm going to tack these pieces um, as I put them on here. and I can see that I have my eyes where I want them. So I am going to place my iron on top of that so that I get that fusible activated in there and those will stick together. I'm gonna to do the same with my little paws here. Now, before you um, peel these pieces off of your mat, you're gonna to wanna to let them cool. And the reason that you do that is um, when your fusible is warm um, and you peel it off, you could leave some of the fusible on the mat. So if you let that piece cool, um, your fusible is gonna stay on the fabric and that's where you want it. So we've got this cooled enough here. Now, I think if you can see here, um, it's, it's shiny. That means that fusible is on uh, the fabric and that's what you want. So I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna take my little eyes off here. Okay, and now we're gonna start putting together um, the, the elephant. A lot of times what we do uh, when we laser cut these pieces is we'll laser cut the slits right into them for you. 
Um, you'll see right here that we have little slits cut in uh, for the eyes as well, and that just makes it easier for placement. So I'm going to put down the body. The little um, under ear part um, actually, uh, whoops, I think we go over here. It goes down next, and you'll see the dashed line. Last thing I have to do is to um, insert the eyes, and I'll do that before I iron the head down so I can lift that head up just a little bit. Now, I'm gonna take a look at this before I run my iron over everything because I wanna make sure I have this completely in place where I want it. Reason being is once you iron all these pieces down, it's gonna be really hard to pull them apart because when you iron uh, the, the fabric to fabric with the fusible, you don't get it uh, apart very easily. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna iron this completely down. So I've got this little guy all put together. Um, I don't have the, the water spots on yet, or the water drops, I can put those on. And I'm actually just gonna look at the photo and see where those pieces go. And as you can see, we have our applique completely put together. Now, when you, um, when you get this completely finished, and in the instructions, this will all be spelled out for you. So once I get this completely ironed down and I have let it cool, I'm gonna peel this off of my silicone mat. I'm gonna remove the mat. And then let's just say, uh, let's pretend I've got a light table sitting here. I would lay my finished drawing down on the light table and I would lay this over the top of it. And your light is gonna shine through and it's gonna show you uh, where the additional lines need to be drawn in. Now, I'm just gonna do this real quick. I have a water-soluble quilter's pen. Um, so you can see it's got the purple on one end, which is disappearing, and it's got the blue on the other end, um, which you have to use water with. There's also some great pens that will iron away too, but this is one that I, I turn to a lot. And so I, I, can, I can see my lines underneath here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw those in and then you're gonna know that those are lines that need to be stitched. Once we get this all done then, um, this is the thing that's gonna be a little bit different and this is actually the, um, the quilt that we put together and I'm doing this block right up here. Now, you're also going to see that not all of that elephant is going to show, and we're going to show you where you can cut that off um, for this applique if that's what you choose to do. I actually have the block pre-made. This is the little quilt block, and I want to show you how this, um, how this applique works uh, with the quilt, the quilt block. Now, I've got the quilt block put together. Now, when I peel this off, you're gonna see that these stay here because the pieces did not overlap. But these are you're gonna be able to put this together very, very easily. So we're gonna remove this, we're gonna lay this into the center, and your outer pieces are gonna hit the tip of your, uh, your border. Now we've got the block in place. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the elephant. And like I said, this little guy is bigger than what we actually need on this block. So we would show you where to cut that off. Or some people like these pieces to kind of go over. And so this guy could go over, but it would cover quite a bit of it. But we will show you where to trim that as well. And so that's how you put together uh, the little Our Greatest Gift block um, with the 
pieced uh, quilt block behind it. <laughs>